Next speaker is Ian Lawrence, General Secretary of the National Association of Probation Officers. Ian. Well, brothers and sisters, firstly, members of NAPO, Probation and Family Courts, bring you greetings and solidarity, and I'm personally proud to be here today uh, as one of very few senior uh, officers in the movement from the VA and the community. I first came to Trafalgar Square a long, long time ago, I won't tell you when that was, just over there somewhere. And you'll think, what's that got to do with the price of eggs? Well, my father brought me here. My father was an immigrant. He came to this country in 1949, having stood against the Axis forces of evil in the Second World War, having served his country in the Indian Air Force and the Indian Police, having witnessed the ravages of sectarianism of, parti of partition and coming to this country, like many of this generation, in the hope of building a better life and making a contribution. And he often used to say to me, there are many of my generation that never made it to Britain because they're out there somewhere, in the Middle East, lying dead. They died fighting against racism and fascism. They died defending the freedoms that the racists and bigots take for granted when they spout their message of hatred. They ought to remember that when they talk about the evils of immigration, but they don't because it's easy to forget. So he was proud to come here and proud to make that contribution. He would have been appalled to see the sorts of messages of hate that we've heard about today. He'd have been appalled to see what's going on around the world in many other countries facing problems of sectarianism, nationalism, and religious fragmentation. And his message would have been quite simple. There's no time for that message. We lead short lives. We should have one common purpose, the sort of purpose that you're here to defend and promote today, and which you should all be proud of. I'll finish by saying this, I hope you'd have been proud of me, what I've been able to achieve. And moreover, moreover, and more importantly, he'd have been proud of each and every one of you. Thank you very much.